series can get tough. And if you're down three games to one, like the Braves were on Thursday, sometimes it seems like nothing goes right. Yes, the World Series can get tough. But you know what they say about when the going gets tough. To win the World Series, you gotta win four in no particular order. And how tough do you get when it's your last chance? Well, their team was down three games to one in a foreign stadium, but the Braves held on to utter three of the kindest words in the English language. Honey, I'm home. The South has risen again, and folks, I'll tell you, if you want to talk about chopping a deficit before it's too late, these fans are all ears. So come on in and make yourself at home for game six. We'll do our best to give you the best seat in the house. Hi again, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien. Welcome to our CBS Sports continuing coverage of the 1992 World Series. Tonight, the Blue Jays will send out David Cohn. Atlanta will counter with Steve Avery. Braves fans are well aware that the last five teams who have come home down a game have each rallied to win the World Series. And Blue Jays fans know that as well. 40,000 of them have gathered tonight up at Sky Dome. Right now, it's time for the singing of the two national anthems. And here is public address announcer, Marshall Mann. And Cito Gaston wants to talk to Jimmy Key. It is doubtful that he will take him out of the game. I think he wants to remind the corners, Joe Carter and Kelly Gruber and Jimmy Key, the pitcher, that Nixon will bunt. That's what makes Nixon, as a batter, with a runner on third and two outs, most dangerous because of the possibility of the bunt or the infield hit. John Smoltz represents the tying run. Well, he's going to go to the right-hander. Mm. Mike Timlin will be the new pitcher for Toronto when we come back. Mike Timlin pitched one inning in game five. That was the seventh inning, if you remember. And what pressure on this young man just to get one out. Jimmy Key was taken out of the game, we think, because Otis Nixon is a much better hitter against left-handed pitching. Mike Timlin will be pitching to Nixon, and interestingly, Nixon Got the hit to tie the game in the ninth inning from the left side. And there they are, the numbers for Otis Nixon. So that's why they brought Timlin in to switch Nixon around. A lot of things run through a manager's mind here. Otis Nixon as a left-handed batter gets down to first a lot quicker than he does from the right side. He's a better bunter as a left-handed batter. If the ball is hit to an infielder, they better hurry. Nixon, two for five tonight, including the RBI single. With two outs and a count of 0-2 in the bottom of the ninth, that drove in Jeff Blauser to make it 2-2. Mike Timlin saved only one game this year. He has only four major league saves. Now he's on to save the biggest win in Toronto Blue Jay history. With a tying run at third and two down, in the bottom of the 11th, 4-3 Blue Jays. John Smoltz, the pinch runner at third.
Timlin. Nixon butts. Timlin on it. Throws to first. For the first time in history, the World Championship banner will fly north of the border. The Toronto Blue Jays are baseball's best in 1992. Series for Toronto by one run.